Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to install WordPress. You need a domain, okay? Um, people buy domains at GoDaddy, Namecheap, places like that. You also need hosting. We recommend that you use HostGator for hosting. You can get a baby account there for very cheap. That's really the extent of what you need. When you get the baby account, you have to provide them with the domain name. And they, HostGator is really good about walking you through all of that. So with this video, um, I'm assuming that you have already got your domain. It's hooked up to your hosting and you're ready to install WordPress. What you need to do in up here where you put the URL is you would put your domain name. So mydomain.com forward slash and then you're going to put this all in small letters, cPanel. Okay, now once you click that, you will see this page, or a page that looks extremely similar to it. When you got your hosting at HostGator, you, were, uh, you also got um, the login for your cPanel. That was both provided to you when you uh, got the hosting, and also it's emailed to you. And again, HostGator is great. If you have any questions about this stuff, just give them a call. Okay, so here we are on cPanel. I've already put my password in here. I'll put my username in here. This is for just for one of my many like uh, domains. And here you are in cPanel. And don't don't be overwhelmed by this. This has a ton of stuff that you don't need. Our next step is to install WordPress, and it is remarkably simple. You come down here to where it says Software and Services, and you click Quick Install. Now, Quick Install is an installer that will install all these different kinds of um, uh, programs, etc., on your website. You're going to click WordPress. And it tells you what it is. You're going to click Continue. Now, Right here is where you're going to fill in the stuff that you need to fill in. Now, this is as far as I'm going to take you. Uh, I've actually got a WordPress installation on this site. If you want to install WordPress on the root domain, in other words, this is called Media Rainmakers. If you want to install WordPress here, you just leave that blank. You put in your information. You click Install Now. It'll chug along for 20 seconds or so, and then it'll give you a message right here. You need to copy and paste that message to a notepad file and save it. Uh, this installer also emails you to the admin email. This will email you the same information, but that's going to be your login to get inside your WordPress installation. If you want to install this on a subdomain, uh, it has to be a subdomain that does not currently exist. So let's say I wanted to install this on email sleuth, okay? Uh, then I would type that in there, then it would create the subdomain and do the installation. And guess what? That right there is all you need to do to install WordPress. Uh, we will, uh, in the next video, we will talk about actually getting inside of WordPress and how to actually upload the plugin, okay?